a topic that I think not just football wise, you know, we're we're focusing on football on on this channel, uh, but just in general, uh, a a a figure who is very polarizing right now, and Mr. Warren. Uh, right. I will turn this over to you. You know, is it is it time? Is it time to part ways with Mr. Warren? So. I'm going to use one example here. There are many people in chat can bring up theirs, but I'm going to take the example of this contract negotiation with Jim Harbaugh that apparently has skipped Ward Manual now. And Jim Harbaugh and his people are dealing directly with Dr. Santa Ono, the president. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've, if, if you guys in the audience or anybody has ever been in a, a corporate situation, and the employee and the CEO are dealing directly with each other and skipping the, the, man, the, the middle manager, um, that middle manager better be sending their resumes out because that's not a good sign. Um, so I think that we've gotten to the point he's stuck in his ways. He hasn't adapted to the modern um, reality that we're in. And I think that's an issue. I think that, um, I think that you know, Dr. Santa has come in um, and he is equally lover of academics and athletics, which is huge for us. And um, so I think that m this is complete speculation. I have no evidence. I have no sources. This is speculation. My guess is that Ward has been given a few months to find another job. So still get paid. You still do whatever. But like, it's kind of like what Harbaugh did with Tim Drevno. If you remember way back to 2017 yeah. and he wasn't working out, he didn't get fired. He, Harbaugh gave him money? some time to to follow and to get another job, yeah. so I, I that's my that's my guess. I could be completely off though. Yeah, look, I, I think when you kind of look at not just the football team but the athletic department as a whole, I, I mean, it, it's been a uh, it's been a lot going on. You know, a lot, a lot of it's been a mess. I gotta be, to be quite frank with you. Um, you know, problems with the hockey team. You know, yep. trying to sport. hire back Red Berenson, who's like eighty something years old. Right. You, you, you know, the the the, the basketball team is a mess right now. Like both both on the court or on the field at times, as well as the things around that actual play has been kind of a problem. Your athletic department, especially for a pristine university like Michigan. You know, it's just it's, it has to be a good look, right? And to be to be quite frank with you, also Ward Manuel just hasn't been out in the forefront, right? You don't really hear, you really haven't heard from him much at all. I think the last time I heard we heard from him was after the tunnel incident, um, but really before then or after that, after that, you really haven't heard much from him. Um, but you know, especially you brought up the the uh, conversation, the, the contract talks with Jim Harbaugh. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just it's unprecedented for an athletic director to not be anywhere seen when your head coach is doing interviews and there's With obvious the Broncos. Right, obvious and... contract talks and you're not making any comments. And then the pre the school president, who typically never, you know, I'm not talking about Santa Ono in, in particular, but just in general, the school president doesn't get involved in contract uh, negotiations or mending right. uh, of a contract relationship, you know? So that, like you said, you know when the you know I, when a high, the higher manager is is going essentially over your head to go to a subordinate, that's a problem, and uh, and it, it definitely sticks out. And it's like, well, either Ward is just not doing his job, or he's doesn't have a job potentially, and he just kind of still has the title, but kind of looking for you know, the next move, you know, so right. Once again, we're speculating, but it is definitely fishy. Well, I have read some sources that did say that there was a $9.5 million a year offer on the table um, that Harbaugh was planning to sign, but for some reason Ward um, kept playing games with it. And, and I read this in a couple different places. Um, so I, I believe that some, some variant of that might've happened where some, uh, some bridges might've been burned. If, if Harbaugh only wants $9.5 million a year, like he only wants to make as much as Mel Tucker, who hasn't done anything, and the guy has just won two Big Ten championships and beat Ohio State, top, top five Ohio State teams, two years right. in a row, and he just wants to make as much as Mel Tucker, 
give it to him. <laughs> like, yeah. what, is, what else is there to say? Yeah. Well, you know, it goes back to 2020 where, you know, uh, it was a disaster of a season. And essentially, see, it was fun. See, it's funny how quickly things change. I didn't have a problem at that time with amending of Harbaugh's contract, essentially putting in these incentives where he got a reduction in pay, but if he would have hit X, Y, and Z in incentives, you know, he got his normal contract, if you will, right? Or his previous money. Because I felt like he was at a, a prove it time in his career at Michigan. I thought that was fair, right? Before the 2021 and 2022 football seasons happened. Now that they have, he has proven it. He has restored his status as a, you get, I don't, I don't want to get some max here, top five, top seven coach in the game of football, college football. Yes. Yeah. You no, know, it, he is absolutely ridiculous. It has nothing to do with Mel Tucker in general, but he, he should be paid at least as much as Mel Tucker is. Uh, that's just, that's just the price of a, a big time head football coach. It just is. Well, think about it. So, of course, you got to put the national title, multiple national title coaches above him, like Nick Saban, of course. I'd, I'd call him the GOAT of the modern era. Kirby Smart might be the next top head coach, yeah, um, so. but he's definitely so. in there. Um, you know, you could consider Dabo Sweeney with two national titles and what he's accomplished. Um, but then you kind of think, okay, who – Then then you look at Ryan Day and Jim Harbaugh. And they're kind of, they're you know, Ryan Day won a playoff game, but Jim Harbaugh has won the most recent two Big Ten championships, the most recent two uh, Ohio State games, and has a, a longer tenure of winning, you know, average nine, ten wins a season, um, which I know isn't as good as Ohio State, but like Brian Day just doesn't have that same body of work. So I'd put him right there. And then what, who else? Jimbo? Uh, Brian Kelly, who hasn't won a title yet? Honestly, man, Jimbo. See, J- Jimbo is still has been riding on the high of that 2013 national James. championship for <laughs> right. uh, quite a while. Um, but I, even for myself, I, I I thought that he needed a refresh. Down at the time, I thought it was a good hire for Texas A&M, but yeah. now look, the luster, the, the bloom is kind of off the rolls for him. And uh, yeah, let's go would, hire Bobby I, Petrino. How about that, Trey? Let's go hire Bobby Petrino oh, in the wrong place. Oh my goodness! It, it, it's it, it's so yeah, like it, mm. so. No, I'll actually, I, like I said, a couple things changed, right? I, I would definitely elevate Jim over over Jimbo today. Um, as quite as as crazy as it sounds, because now I think he has to reprove himself again. I might even put him up there with Dabo. Now he doesn't have the resume Dabo has. Right, Dabo has two national titles, so let me. Yeah. I won't. I won't go too far. However, it is a "what have you done for me lately" type of game, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you know, he has had. I mean, what, gosh, John, I mean, what what is their record? What twenty three and two the last two years, or something like this? Some crazy, like it, yeah. it's, an, it, it's an insane, you know, record the last two seasons. But like, it, it they they they've been the last two years. I would venture to say an elite program in terms of their performance, right? Now they haven't got the full, the final prize, but you know, like it, not many teams can have made it back to back years in a college football playoff. It has beat Ohio State in back to back years. They have so, um, it, it, and at it least, is, yeah. at least Lincoln Riley level, right? Lincoln right, Riley absolutely. has won multiple, cha- obviously championships at that is his conference at Big, right, t- Big Twelve, Oklahoma. Right. He got to the playoffs a couple of times, didn't ever win a playoff game. At the very least, Harbaugh's at Lincoln Riley level at this point. Yes. Like, I think that's that's bare minimum. And you've seen what Lincoln has done his first year at USC. I mean, he, he's one of those guys. And I, th- I think that's another, you know, you know, that's going to be a fun team to watch uh, this fall as well. I think they're on the rise. But no, I'm with you. You know, like at, at this point, I, I just think that. You make it simple. When someone performs, right, you reward them for the performance. When they're not performing, there needs to be a a review and then you know a a a thought something gone into it, right? You know, they, they maybe you need to reevaluate everything. It doesn't mean you necessarily make a change, but you do have to reevaluate the whole picture. And Jim has performed. He's earned uh, the raise that he wants. 
Uh, but I will say this, and, and maybe this has all been a ploy for him to to use leverage and, and get that higher pay. I, I would like the next AD, the president of AD, to believe that they're probably returning that direction, for them to also hold Jim accountable for, and this is just me, what I would like, for his tendency to look at other pastures, especially when it comes to NFL. But at least how he goes about it, right? That's just me. Not can not prevent him from doing anything, but at least, hey, look, we love you here. We're going to pay you what you want as long as you stay here. However, we do ask for this in return. Okay, so that that's just that's just me. I I, I know I know we talked about it. He has a, a decorated resume both in the NFL and college. I just I don't like the games year to year. That's just me. 